Welcome to the project Dynamic SME. In this presentation, Paula Dynamica will illustrate the knowledge management tool Competence Matrix to the entrepreneur Victor. Hey Paula, how are you? Hi Victor, good and you? Hmm, more and less. Well, I'm seeing problems regarding the lack of training in some of my employees. On the level they are operating, my employees are supposed to have certain skills in order to do their activities efficiently. However, I have come to know that some are lacking of these skills. What can you offer or recommend me to do? Hmm. Have you heard of the competence metrics? No, I haven't heard of it. Well, I have already applied it in my enterprise. This tool allows me to structure, evaluate and visualize the skills and competencies that are with my employees. That way, I have a good overview who can and who can't do something. I think the application of this tool would be great help for you to solve your problem, Victor. And Paula, why have you decided to use this knowledge management tool? How can it help me with my problems? Hmm, well, I decided to apply this tool because I was in the situation once that an important employee who had the task to run and maintain the enterprise homepage had to leave for several months. A little later, the homepage stopped working, creating high costs and a large threat to my sales. The competence matrix allowed me to become aware who are my important employees, experts in performing certain tasks, and gave me an overview which of my employees would be hired to substitute once having left the company. The implementation of such a plan, Victor, will bring you many advantages. Really? Well, tell me which ones. You will be able to realize the following. The competence matrix will show you the skills and competences that are missing in your company. All the skills that are not very well distributed currently. It will furthermore allow you to evaluate and determine the needs of training among your employees. If you are able to increase the distribution of skills among your employees, your enterprise will become more flexible. And if you are looking for new personnel, the competence matrix will help you to define a profile of skills for new potential employees. Hmm, very interesting, Paula. But how can I build such a competence matrix? It is actually really easy. It only requires a few steps. Identify the competencies among your employees and put these competencies into a matrix. Hmm, well, can you explain the competence matrix a little more in detail for me, Paula? Of course, Victor. In the first step, try to identify the competencies that your employees apply on a daily basis. I choose to do so through brainstorming on a blackboard. Then, you can group certain competencies into categories such as, for example, manufacturing process technology, language, design and social skills. Then, put the names of your employees into the rows and competencies into the columns. In the following step, Victor, each employee will then evaluate his capacity to which he can fulfill certain competencies. My employees are classifying themselves by putting three pluses if they have a very good capacity in performing these tasks two pluses if they can perform a task independently and one plus if they are still learning how to apply this task. Later you can evaluate the matrix together with the employees and make corrections if needed. Once this step is finished looking vertically you will be able to analyze the capacities of all employees to perform a certain task. Looking horizontally you will have a performance profile of your employees. Wow, this tool is indeed quite easy to use. Well, since you have been applying this tool in your enterprise for quite some time now, what are key aspects to keep in mind? What do you think is important to keep in mind when implementing a competence matrix? One key element is that you should avoid gaps in knowledge. That is, in any discipline prevent the situation that you have just one person with the highest score, meaning three pluses. Because if this person then leaves your company, then this may substantially reduce the performance of your company. You should furthermore set minimum standards for each discipline, 
In my company, which is medium in size, I have come to the conclusion that at least two employees should have the highest score for each category. Thank you very much for your help, Paula. You're welcome, Victor. And if you need more information, I have some interesting links here for you. Or you may also access the information on the homepage of Dynamic SME, which also helped me to implement the knowledge management tool.